like an idiot, that is true. Is like checkmate and uh, jungle. I can see that often. Sweet. Reckon is hype. There is so much competition today. Okay, 16 man too. So I just need to get that pair. But I decided to uh, hold that. I saw a dude here, but I don't... Both players still kind of warming up a little bit, looks like. Not the cleanest move on either side, but this is the first round. Taking game one. Close games, but both players got to clean up a little bit. We'll see how where we go with game two. That could battle field camp. So that could have better. So let me show you. It feels like also. Ooh, quick follow. Kill Gate TV. Thank you. Swarm followed a little bit ago. Let's go, Swarm. That's one I see. Yes, Roman, if you're still in the chat, this is uh, every Friday in Palm Harbor. Fairly close to you. I don't know if that day works for you, but I remember talking to a CEO. We can come out, get some uh, game watch action here.
How's it going, stream? Oh, the microphones work. Um, yep. or I can actually hear. Last week I couldn't hear oh, really? yeah, the other person. Or two weeks ago. Yeah, I was here for the Godi on Tuesday and they were working then too, so they must have fixed it. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, they're, they're nice mics. Yeah, they are. I like them a lot. I contemplated getting a pair of these for, um, for stream. I just couldn't um, justify the cost. They're not cheap. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. And mine were like really cheap Logitech ones that worked fine. Well, I had like proper XLR mics, which I used for. That could have been really bad for me. <laughs> yeah. These guys play a lot. Um, um, they play pretty often. Yeah. Almost, yeah, I feel like almost every Nate, or every event that Nate attends, he's either find himself playing Bill or mm -hmm. I don't know, Spence even. Uh, True. Loons with the sub. Let's go, Loons. How you doing today? It'll be uh, good to see you at the next bracket. But Nate is a very patient, and he picks his spots really well. Uh, and that can be hard to deal with for a, a quick fox that really wants to move around. For sure. Yeah, he's really good at slowing the game down to his pace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I love that up air attempt on shield. Because especially if you cross him up. Nice. nice. Yeah, good conversion. Good conversion. Yeah. And in the past year or so, Nate's really cleaned up all of his uh, bread and butter, which has been really good to see. Nice. Yeah, good up tilt conversion. He's got full stack of needles here. Oh, or a grab in the corner. <gasps> oh, he lives, though. He lives. He lives. He's still living, still living. Oh, <gasps> that's a back air. The Bill special, but he he's dead that's it. game. That's game one. Wow. Or, or game two, actually. Yeah, it was game two. Yeah. Up, it was on nice. Battlefield, so I figured. Mm -hmm. yeah, Nate just but no, Bill wouldn't field. strike to Oh, really? They struck, yeah, struck they to Battlefield? battlefield? Okay, okay. Said, yeah, we're going right back. Yeah. Nice. We got a set on our hands, boys. Yeah, and gals. Oh, what is... You ever watch J. Kenzie Lopez Alt? The cooking show, the guy. No. He starts all of his shows with um, um, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, nice. <laughs> which is a great little one-liner. I love it. He loves giving, getting some uh, extra needle damage. In. Uh, yeah, He's I was just about to say away. that. And honestly, I think most sheiks should do it mm -hmm. because it's a lot like Falco laser, just not as good, obviously. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, approach me, come right. on, like do it. But he'll even like put himself in that position. Like he'll he'll scoop back to the center stage just to get a couple. Of <gasps> what a fair! That was great. Yeah, that was a good. Call. Yeah. yeah, he knew that the uh, trade wouldn't affect him. Doesn't really matter. Let's see what he can do with a uh, thirty-one percent lead here. Okay, should be it. Roll ledge, roll nice. up. Nice. Yeah, nice and clean. Yeah, and I think Bill's, what he's really looking for is, like, opportunities to just bring out Wild Bill, you know? Yeah. And once he does, it's it's hard to slow him down. For sure. He just needs to start pressing buttons faster. Once he does, it's, uh, it's a scary monster. Because Bill's got the reads. He's got the game awareness. You know, he's been playing the game a long time and understands, you know, what his opponent wants to do. And oh, oh, nice platform textures. Oh, he just missed the conversion, though. Oh, nice jabs. Yeah, I love the jab on shield, yeah. Very nice, very nice. Bill rocking the queens to on the summit hoodie. Yep, yeah, I was just uh, complimenting him on that. It looks really nice. I love the pink. On camera, it doesn't do it justice, but in person, it's a more pastel. Or, um, neon, I guess. But still, 30% is all he had last stock, and um, Nate picked it up quick. Gets him out of crash cancer percent a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice approaching there. I like that a lot. And these weights, I love it. He just stops in neutral. Mm. Yeah, Bill trying to bait something out, but he doesn't really know where to come in. Oh, that's the bane of every Sheik's existence. The urge to dash attack in the corner. Good drill, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, wow, yeah, he still picks it up, but that SDI to shield was good. Casey in here, too. Let's go. Mm, the shine just beating out that dash attack. That could have been big. 
Nair conversion? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Kill with all the control right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just throwing out Nairs and it's it's just working. The up tilts, yeah, all you have to do is That's grab that up tilt. It, That's yeah. all you got to do. Very nice. we'll What's up, Mike? What's going on? I think we play now. Uh, yeah. Angel might want this on stream, actually. Okay, let's take it. Which I'm down. I think I've been made, might have played is at that magic conch that Pants got third at, but I don't think. No, I don't think they played at that one. Um, so, I don't think they played before. Peach Pants, new to the area, um, from Tennessee. Uh, only, well, moved here oh, like about a year ago, but just started. Uh, just got on PR for the first time last season. This past season that just ended, so. New to the West Florida PR, but obviously an insanely good player. And uh, we'll see what he decides to do here with Raid. Raid with obviously a lot of good Peach practice playing Stockholm for years. Um, also, one of the only people to have a win on Stockholm last season in West Florida, so very obviously uh, a good matchup for him. Uh, Peach Pants obviously probably played plenty of Falcon players in his life, but I'm not sure uh, exactly what his experience is with it. Alright, dead start. Okay, goes to Peach Pants. Up by almost a clean stock, but you know, Captain Falcon, with just a few funny moves, can link this into death, or Peach can link this into death. I like the attempt at the platform combo, but... Ooh, the recovery from Raid is pretty good. Come back, get the nade. Gonna get caught recovering with the turn up pull. The throw. Oh, you just... Yeah, Peach Pants, but sometimes when he gets that hit close to the ground, just nair, nair, nair so fast as the slow cancels. Facing outside of Peach's range a bit. Okay, but does get caught with the dash deck. And it's like if Raid can keep up. He's obviously got like the punish game pretty down. You can see right. Yeah, yeah, like you know, he's obviously got the Peach matchup punish game down. He just cleans up a few more interactions than usual. This set is uh or this match is way closer, you know. Peach can also just, you know, he gets that small hit, he gets a hit like a dash attack or anything and converts into so much. Peach Pants taking game one. This is a best of three. Okay, starting off here. Back to battlefield, Raid just loves like the stage a lot. He, oh, he 
Fairy Skiz here. Big Battlefield fan. I don't really know if there's a better counter pick against Peach. Probably not. I mean, maybe like Pokemon Stadium, but like, is that that much better compared to how much Raid likes this stage? I don't think so. Another stock for Peach Pants taking the early lead right now. Only, only a little bit of a deficit though. This is Raid getting a solid hit could easily bring this game back into back to even stocks. I love the way he jumped in, got that knee. Just like knew exactly how to cover that DI. Ooh, the low recovery was so good. I'm surprised he didn't get that first grab, but he ends up picking it up anyway. The Nairs coming off the ledge are actually working out so well. Be able to take his first lead of the set right now with this edge guard. It barely misses him, but picks it up anyway with another one of those clean down throw knees. Yeah, Peach can, you know, technically get out of it if you do the right DI and the wiggle out air dodge. Um, but, you know, Peach Pan's kind of DIing in on it and getting hit by the knee. DIing like up. Alright, we're just pacing aerials for the ledge, trying to keep Peach Pan's getting back but ends up getting bit eating a slap thrown off stage once again right. with the recovery to avoid the turn up but still gets caught by peach peach can do some crazy things with those turn ups on edge cards you cover one you cover one area with an item cover the other area with yourself that's some crazy stuff right there and the the DI of the counter again great takes us to game three this is for winner side top eight right now. This is for a chance to play the winner of <laughs> me and equilateral. So, um, yeah. These guys, the uh, fourth and fifth seed of this tournament. Um, kind of hard to see. Say, uh, I was debating between uh, Hammer Peach Pants at third, but uh, ultimately I. Gave a little bit of legacy bias. But I feel like it was kind of just. That's kind of how I've dealt with <laughs> seeding Peach Pants a lot recently, uh, since he's kind of gotten, since he's moved here. Is, um, I just like, in the first like tournament he plays for someone, I like, he's like one below them, and then he ends up beating them, and then every tournament from then on, I just see them above. You know, when you got people who never uh, competed at the same tournament, it's interesting. Alright, so, so far, what was up? Recovery was so good. Raid taking control this third game. Already up more than a stock right now, pretty much. Or, not a stock, really, about a stock. We're going specific. Can get possibly. Hedge guard here. Oh, and Peach Pants misses the raid drifts to avoid Peach and dies anyway, so it's kind of a mistake. It's like he didn't get the hit, but he, he threatened the hit, and that made <laughs> raid miss, I think. Alright, gets the grab, down throw, the wait. Let's see what Peach Pants does out of the down throw when, when he DIs uh, a different way. Alright. Raid's facing some moves, some stomps, and some up airs and everything. Throwing off stage in the dare, so it's up for Peach to get this edge guard. And yeah, all she's got to do is float there and just wait for you to pick your pick your option and cover it. 
the down throw he can. Doesn't kill just yet. Not yet. Maybe one more of this. Nope. Call out on the drift. It says like, you're gonna be right here and I'm gonna be right there. set right now and he does take the set raid takes it 2-1 the losing game one he does the uh gets the w all right looks like we're trying to get most of the the rest of the winners quarters on stream too angel has a mark for stream we'll see what happens we'll see who's next Got to get a. So we have the other three, the three winners quarters matches right now. They're left. There's that one, and then there was uh, Broken You versus Diltune, Seha versus Dejoy, and me versus Equilateral. So that's interesting. And we got hello, me and EQ are first. Okay. Looks like me versus Equilateral. What a set. I only saw the end of that last game, but big dub. Love to see it. Everything going according to seating so far, except for that match. Which makes sense. Yeah, boom, boom. Battlefield it is. It's going to be Marth Fox. Equilateral a beast in this matchup. He eats bases up for days. <laughs> Spamming caps. <laughs> Ouch, big tipper. Richard with a sob. <laughs> Connor, I can't. <laughs> I can't allow you to post that. <laughs> okay, Bill's first opening here. Goes for an upgrade there instead of a forward there. Keeps it going. Should be an F smash? No, he just. Oh. Goes a little too high. Can't get the near. Uh oh. Say on fan club for putting in. Dude, that's how I have to play next. You have to be a, a DJ fan just during our set, though, okay? Slices and dices. Oh, he power shields are shine. Insane. We got Raid hopping on the mic. Welcome. Did I just flip it? Yeah, yeah. It should be a dead bill. Yeah, I can't hide. Oh! Red shirt. <laughs> EQ kind of running away with this. Yeah, I mean, what do you expect? Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a very uphill battle for Bill, most of us here, actually, I would say. Yeah. Pretty yep. much all of us, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. Number one seed for a reason. Yep. Especially in this matchup, too. EQ just so good. Yeah. I mean, the problem is that he's, he's just so slippery. <laughs> you know I mean? Can't grab him. Yeah, Can't catch him. He loops up all the time. Yeah. 
Yeah, Bill seems to only be getting like one or two hits in, in neutral and then can't really convert, but EQ gets one opening and just makes a count. It's Except hard for, to open him up. For sure, yeah. Yeah, he, he does a really good job. Right there, that's a good opening, but he got his jump back, so he's getting more opportunities. Yeah, and Bill's, Bill was still in the lead there, but like holding out his shield kind of doesn't help anybody there, you know what I mean? Right, like right. It only beats the, the fair get option. Like the get up attack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Either get up attack or jump up attack, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Good shine. Nice. Should be it. Hold ledge roll up. Yep. Alright. I mean, I wish Bill was playing like this the whole game. You know? Right, yeah. Got the conversion it needed. Oh. Insane, insane reaction to wave shine back. Good patience by EQ okay. there, too. Yeah. Should be just a dare here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, winner's quarter is only best of three still. So. Where is EQ going to ban? I assume Dreamland. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What do you ban? Pokemon. Oh, Either way, we're here now. We're here. Five, Dreamland. Yeah. Go on the ledge. It's kind of messed up. It's both the Kirby stages, FOD and Dreamland, they're technically in Dreamland. Right, yeah, yeah, they prefaced it with Dreamland, but it's like, yeah, come on. I just want to call one of them Dreamland. What's up, Helix? Yeah, I like that pressure. Yeah, I can crouch cancel if I know. He keeps sneaking back to Ludge though somehow. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Not it. ready for the side B, and of course not ready for the tech after, because right. don't expect to be split in that situation. Right. Oh, he just grabs that alpha hunter. Okay, yeah. Okay, good double jump, though. Where that's true. Bill's that moving. Tilt. No, he's not. Yeah, no, he, he can't move. Okay. Oh, he goes wild. Uh, uh, Little hog wild. Yeah, that angle right here. Jab up smash worked at like 130 yeah. something. That's yeah. insane. <laughs> oh, I thought that jab was coming out. Oh, oh, my. The gift like opportunity was almost there. Yeah. Like Bill's like predicting uh, a jump at a pit stop. Oh, there it is. That's the Bill yeah. Classic. Dude, it just happened. Predicted it at the time. Think it into existence. Yeah, manifest. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is last Bill's chance. last stand. Yeah. yeah, potentially his last chance for the set. See how he does. Yeah. Uh, pressure, but gets thrown off the stage. Ah, damn. Ouch. You hate to see it. Yeah, he's gonna take that every time. A very quick point of quarters. Yeah. Okay, Who's we're next? gonna do Diltune and, and Broken You. Yeah, it'll be cool to see Ken again play again. I played a couple friendlies with him. He still got. Back, he's kicking. Marth Fox coming in hot. Or actually, I don't know, Ken can go multiple characters, but I assume Fox is uh pick here. Yeah. I mean he can pick anybody. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. He can pick Peach, he can pick Pikachu, the, yeah. He's just too good. Oh excellent. <laughs> just as I expected. Diltune taking the first stock. <laughs> Luke in the chat too, what's up? Yeah, the team showed up to the uh, Dirty Weekly last or the the monthly um, last week too. He went to the CFL yesterday with Gabe. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Guy is uh, grinding now. It's all about the melee. Got to respect. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely nice to see old faces. Like I mean, Say is here. Mm -hmm. Dilton's here. I mean, Ken's here. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, that should say something. Hey, if, if Ken's coming, that means there's a chance we'll yeah, get working class, we'll yeah, get right. Ewee, you know, we'll bring back those days. The whole crew. Imagine just like Pistol Peaches start showing up and stuff again, <laughs> right. we're gonna deal with Doc. We're like, dude, we haven't played Doc in tournament in so long. 
Bands FD, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Fox Jump. I think Fountain is good because like a lot of boxes really, really like Yoshi's, even though that might like be theoretically a better one for Mark. But right. I mean, FOD is just so disruptive. <laughs> and uh, he's got a big sword. Big so sword kind of works out for him. Right. Right. Falcon's got big legs, so it kind of works out for him. A lot of these matchups, right? You can just cover the platforms. It makes it a lot easier. Same deal. Yeah. Crossover, um, shields in there. It looked a little dangerous, but he didn't respond to it. So he got away with it, and then he had some answers. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you probably know. More power to him. Good shiny guy. I'm surprised no shine there. Yeah, I like that. Crouch cancel. Yeah. Still team doing those silly, air or silly aerials trying to get back. Yeah, not falling for anyone. Yeah. That only works when, like, if you're like me and you're like super, uh, you just really want to hit him. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Ooh, come on, dude. Is that like three or four hits? Insane. Go leave the best on. Reverse there? I mean, why do you even play Captain Falcon? Why do you play the Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Classic on you. The Captain Classic. It's me or Yeah, you are right now. Intuitively. So, Kenny is doing uh, wave dash down. Because he doesn't like it, or you think he knows something that we don't? Probably the latter. He's, he's got to be big brain in himself. Figure? I mean, he might be a little rusty. I mean, he plays, he plays slippy, he plays on the Yeah, so maybe not. He's too rusty, right? Yeah, I feel, I feel like he knows something. Maybe it's just his basic thing. He doesn't want to go all the way in. Possibly. Maybe he's just like, kind of using it to see what the thing does. Well, he was using it in like, kind of combo. Like, just the text just So it made me think that maybe he just couldn't do it at the moment, or like, Way. Been, uh, he's making it work. Too. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was big tip. That was really, yeah, that was really nice. Yeah. I love those tippers where you kind of like do your full oh, wave dash in. Dude, that I, was thought, a cool he, I thought he was going down. I thought he was going down throwing right? there. Right? Yeah, Shmang went down, went down. Wow, yeah, right. up, throw, up throw kills. That's it. Up throw up air. Hey, okay. good luck in your next one. Oh, yeah, I guess it's me now, huh? Me and Seha. All right.
and we're gonna go ahead and do uh, top eight all uh, three out of five. Yes, we got time.
今日も生き延びることができた今日も生き延びることができた。
Let's see, I was white. Yeah. What's up, everyone? Yeah, I haven't seen either of these guys in a while. Yeah, what these are both like old school. Yeah, so these are like the like top of the PR when I first moved here. Yeah, <laughs> really like, these two. Like the, one, the first like PR I was on was probably like them yeah. like second and third or something. Yeah, and wh when I started out, I mean they were both plan pretty actively, I think. Yeah, they're kind of into like one of these. This is Chase's first. Yeah. Um, Cody. Chase hasn't gone to anything in like a really long time, I feel. His last tournament was like one of the double XPs and he lost to uh, Mang twice. Oh, dang. And then he never came back <laughs> <laughs> for a while. But he's still really good. He's yeah. And he plays all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's doing good here. Yeah, so far he's up by a lot. Yeah. I'm interested to see how this goes. This is like, I don't know the last time, I feel like, I don't know if they've played a lot of Fox with each other, like, in tournaments. I feel like a lot of the time, like, say how we'll go with different characters. Yeah, yeah. Ken used to always go with different characters all the time, too. Yeah. Has uh, Seiya been going all Fox with it? We played Sheik uh, against d so probably, sure. like, yeah. matchup dependent. Yeah. I'm sure. Eh? What did he play? What does he usually play against you? you um, it was a mix of uh, Cheek, Fox, DK, oh God, usually. Oh, true, he just plays all of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, what's up, Bridget Knight? That's, that's Waffles. What's up, Waffles? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we see the chat. We just didn't respond to you for a little bit. Sorry, James. It's not as important as the match. Oh, I didn't, oh, oops, I, I didn't even realize <laughs> Jamie said hello to you. What's up, Jamie? Oh my god, the time is that up so Oh, wow. That was a really uh, clean conversion. These guys are both just like, press a lot of buttons really fast and you don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, that was a sick stock. Okay, Ken starts up this game with the lead. Chasing Grands? Maybe. That is true. I am in Winner's Finals. I play uh, the winner of this. Yeah, they, he's still in winter semis right now. He's not grand yet. <laughs> and so far, Ken's been making this. Oh my god. Why does he do the things he does? I watch him like pick combo options. And I'm like, how did you even think that it worked? It's like Nair to drill there for like, at some point. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow, that. I, I didn't think that grab would uh, work. The back air, not able to follow up fast enough. Didn't get there. Not to get the back air. All right, Ken up this game. This could be a. Uh, this might be a pretty back and forth set. Yeah, yeah that's that. what it's looking like right now. If I were to guess, this is gonna be probably a game fiver. Knows, yeah, sure. right now it just looks like a, a game of who can get the big juicy opening first, and then whoever whoever gets that first just like takes over the whole game. At least that's what we've seen so far. Fox can just do whatever he wants. Okay. He's going crazy and he's on his last run. I mean, one shine spike and it's even. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I'm gonna talk to it is. But, a, oh my God. but you don't want to let Ken build up damage here and get. This is the the wrong short. Reset. Either way, clean game from Ken. Yeah, what was that? Uh, after losing the first game, that was just like complete opposite. The yeah. It looks like a like the the di uh, dynamic just completely switched up there. Yoshi, Yoshi, probably. I feel like he always goes to Yoshi. Oh, <laughs> he got. Oh, he lived and then he just died again. Yeah. Wow, that is really unfortunate. Hopefully he can, uh, you know, bring himself back from that. Because that's. that's each other and doing oh, wow. Okay. okay. Oh, I was looking for. I, th I think Shine there. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. do like the drill and then drop down. Yeah, drop down Shine. That's why I see all the foxes do, like after the drill. Yeah, I think he just did a little as well. Yeah, well, say, uh, you know, that little miss there gave him a chance to recover. Yeah, after the SMP in the beginning. Yeah. Town 
Shuffle, shuffle. So many pummels. Oh my god, these people. What is going on? Dude, they just go. They just do not care. Oh no, up smash there. Up smash with a kill. And his up tilt just. <laughs> wow, okay. That that DI in the up tilt is gonna. I've never seen that happen <laughs> that way. Yeah, I think that was the, sh the DI. Oh! <laughs> another death at basically 0%. Oh god, he almost did it. Oh, he does the invisible and shine. That's like the second or third invisible shine this game. Yeah, they're really close there. <laughs> you can do, uh. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Everyone has deep the entire game. No one does anything good. Sorry. Should be interesting. I haven't really seen a Sheik uh, versus Spacey's. Yeah, um, but that's Sheik a few times in this match up, and it's usually been pretty rough for me. Yeah. Pretty well. See, so Tech Chase here? Yep. That's one. That's two. Gets the up smash read. Slightly missed time to avoid it to get a attack. Nice use of Crouch Cancel there. Oh, is that a kill? Oh, Ooh, just barely. Yeah. I love Shane Sheik. He moves crazy for Sheik. Yeah. Uh, these guys are both moving so fast. And the le the ledge play this set has just been insane. <laughs> yeah, neither of them are scared to. I mean, yeah. Maybe to their downfall. Yeah. FDing like 200 times. Yeah, yeah. Neither of them are scared to mess around over there. And the chain comes Does that out. Work? Okay, almost. Alright, Chase is well on the ground right now. Ooh, and the tech chase gets the shield. Get the tech chase on the back of the back side. Wow, this is a huge stock right now. Wow, what a huge swing. Yeah, he just beat everything that Broke he tried to do there. Yeah. With, uh, just covering it all. And another grab, this could be big. Messes it up, but still gets it. Ops for the needles, I have to imagine. That was, I mean, unless he just really wanted that damage. Yeah. Down for the, for the needle oh, yeah. The I mean, you are in the lead. He really wants that up smash, but he gets up right for it. <laughs> and he says, hey, I'm here in center stage. Just kind of stands there for a second, takes a breath, back into the action. Wow, that getup attack catches him. Yeah. Wow, that just kills. That's insane. That's the last stop. This could be broken set right now. You could get a winner's final. Yeah, it looked like Chase had such a lead, and then just in a matter of like three seconds, it disappeared. Yeah, like oh, catches his jump with that up smash. He gets this punish so far. Oh, good damage. He doesn't finish it oh, off. Oh, are now. we going to see a Ken combo? This could be it. Oh, misses the up tilt. Gets it. Gets it. He just, he just like gotta sit still for a while. Yeah. All right, we got a game five as, as written in yeah, the stars. Yeah, as predicted by Mr. Bill. Yeah. All right, Dreamland for the final game. Gives him the transform to speak in that. Uh oh. Okay. They're we're we're it. gonna we're gonna quit out of that one. They're fine with it. Yeah. They yeah. Don't have it in. yeah. Two two mistakes there. But one may be more catastrophic than the other. But. Yeah, right. <laughs> Instead of uh, starting off with three stocks, it's time to start over right now. It's uh, even game five. Starting out here first with a lot of damage. Uh oh, of but he still dies. He has these anyway. It didn't even matter if it It didn't. Alright. I think they have punished up with grab if it's so good right now. If you can just get the grabs and you know, his up the pressure is really good. Uh oh. 
Yeah, yeah, I could see that in his own style with the Twitter the character. Yeah, it's working out really it well. It is working out very well. This just might be it, unless Ken has something to say about it. He needs yeah. a huge stock here. Yeah, he's gotta make he's gotta even this up right now. And Oh, catches him. Wow, that was a beautiful edge guard. All the way down there. Now yeah. Game five. They have to make the winner's finals right now. About it. I've seen him turn up in these situations before. Sometimes he can just, sometimes he can just turn on the jets and go crazy. So, and right now he's doing some stuff. Come back a little bit. Right now. Yeah. The thing is, one more big punish is really gonna hurt. And this might be it. Nope. So far, avoiding anything huge, but already with this percent. Yeah. Yeah. Chase still has two stocks to play with. Great um, up B mix up there going to ledge. Yeah, not even pushing it too hard. He's really playing defensive yeah. right now. He's I mean, not ready to come back on. Yeah, yeah. The MCI had him up here too. Yeah, this should just be it. Yeah. And that's gonna be Good stuff to say, huh? So we got. You versus Seha winners final. This is true. All right, we got D-Joy versus Diltune now. These two played uh, at the monthly last week. Uh, it was a round robin, so everyone played each other. I just realized it was winners coming out of it, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, so they played DJ one. They played uh, at Goody yeah, at, last, at week. last week. Yeah. Yeah, the monthly DJ won. It was uh, Marth won Marth Falcon? Or did uh Marth okay. Falcon. Because I heard um Still team last week was playing a couple different characters. He did play a bit of Cat Falcon too. Yeah. Uh, he played Falcon again. Play Falcon, I think, in. Maybe he did play Falcon versus Chico. He played Falcon versus. All I remember is he played Falcon versus Admiral Fault. This is interesting. Picking against Falco of all characters. Yeah. But I know he has matchups that he likes Falcon for. I, I just don't remember which ones they are. Oh man, I got the. the I have gotten the. Which side they're on wrong every single time. <laughs> So winners finals plays after both losers quarters play, right? Is that how that works? Yeah, we kind of did it. We should have done these matches before winners semis. Usually. Ah, oh, whatever. But it doesn't <laughs> really matter. But yeah, I guess. Uh, after losers. It depends what he's letting Angel win or whatever he's. Yeah. Out of order he wants to do. True, true. He knows what to do. He's ran many, many a bracket this time. Very uh, tight uppers there to continue that. Doesn't finish it, but yeah, I really like that. Wow, great trade. Yeah, so now, DJ looking strong. Uh, so far, he has played, I was here to talk before, he has only played Sheiks in this bracket, which is by far his least favorite matchup. Which is kind of funny. Um, nice, finally got something out. Yeah. This is the edge guard there. Definitely uh, oh, kill Falcon in there. Wow! <laughs> Hugs the downer. Oh says God. no. Either one turn around on grab or thought that he was. Ooh, pops for the quarter. Yeah. That's why you gotta, you know, sometimes Falcon's recovery is not the best, but if you let him back on stage and give him a chance, he can just completely destroy you in this matchup. Yeah, all he did was just miss the, uh, he was just spotted the light and then he got the light. Yeah. And nice setup there. Lead, like I said, it would be even. 
Okay. Nice setup with the tipper there to clean that first stock up, but still got DJ advantage here. Got the tech chase started. Uh oh, down tilt, that's exactly the down tilt you want to hit in that situation, right below the, the nair, I think it was. Wow, that just might be it. It's He has a couple mix ups here, but Diltine's gonna. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes if it's an awkward spot there, Falcon's like really high off stage and not being back, sometimes it is just better to go for the combo there, get some damage, and maybe get the kill too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it felt like DJ kind of had the advantage this whole game, but then just a few little interactions didn't go his way, and okay. Nice shield drop me, even game. Uh oh, don't DI in there. Fair here and guarantee it, but he goes for the dare, which is also going to be good. Yeah. He just kind of ended up off stage a few times when he yeah. probably shouldn't have been. Nice call out there with the Raptor Boost. Can you get an up air string started here? Barely misses this. That Raptor boost still that hit. Oh, and jumps it. right into the knee. That was like the last little hit of it. Yeah, <laughs> it was right at the very end. Yeah. You just gotta be careful here not to get opened up. Yeah, it's really just avoiding. It feels like just avoiding being off stage and like hit a ledge. Yeah. That's really where just getting his pilot. Ooh, maybe should have held on to ledge there, but still in a good position. Oh, he just get up attack. Oh, wow, that, okay. That uh, single hit Nair into grab there. He finishes that off. Okay, we got another strong lead for Dejoy. Can he uh, keep it, though? That's uh, the question. What's up, Lucky Charms? It's uh, Quad A and Equilateral. What's up, Lucky? Mr. Charms. Yeah, in there. Oh, okay. That uh, clutch jump's gonna make it awkward. Charging. Yeah. Kind of just get through the Take the right. I don't really like that either. Oh. Okay. That yeah, could have been a little dicey, but with the back. Wow, that was beautiful. I love the what a great edge guard. Oh, okay. Air dodges, air dodges off stage, but luckily he's still high enough to grab the ledge. Ah, um, misses the grab there. Yeah, like just right there, like yeah, both both times there he did a great job of just getting back on ledge from off stage there. And wow, basically like a tipman doesn't work out, but great idea. And that might just be a yep. Beautiful stuff. That was a dominant game. We just switched days and we got a few different people here today. A lot of my luck players, I feel like, like to chew on gum or something when they play. <coughs> I always have gum in my car. I always have a pack of Mentos gum in my front seat. Yeah. Call it the car gum. The car gum. Have a very good piece of my car gum too. What are you picking this matchup? Or 
Um, I'll either go Fountain or Yoshi's. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind FD. I feel like um, Marth is actually pretty good against Falcon on that stage, even though some people think he's not. Yeah, I think Falcon just has a, you know, Yeah, yeah, but... I think we'll hit Nair in the ground. Ooh, get spot dodged. He's got to recover here. Nice. Nice, uh, yeah, nice. sweet spot there. Illusion's been having trouble, like, catching up. If he, like, lets Ego grab the side, Oh, just a tipper out of nowhere. That's brutal. See what, what he can pull together in this game. I like the reason that there, but it's. Yeah, <coughs> that's the one thing. If Yoki can catch, like, if he can finish that turn and do it after he grabs the ledge, that's just the one thing he's really missing. Is, yeah, anytime Bijo gets the ledge, he like, tears off of it. And it's just. Very confident soft knee there. I really like that. Oh, great tech. She barely misses. Switch that back here. Just uh, be careful by ledge there. doing a lot of scouting when uh, Diltune's in the air. It's really good. Falcon wants Mark above him uh, so he can pull up his upper strings. That's when he's doing the best. Uh, there and to watch there. Uh oh, you're getting grabbed. Don't die in. Oh, misses the sweet spot and that should be it. Misses the F smash. A little bit early on. Yeah, very. Just a bit early, yeah. Wow, smart get up attack. Smart get up attack. Yeah, he's been using Nair to get off the ledge. Um, like, basically, almost like every time, I feel. Um, and it's been working out. Either it hits or he just whiffs it and doesn't get punished. Uh oh, that could have been a uh, grab, but he's gonna get a punch anyways. Ooh, I'll be there. Despite the lead, this could be Dejoy's last Hockey tournament. Just for the dancing blade. Don't let him. Yeah. Alright. You're in scary territory. Roll away. Yep, knee. Oh. No knee. All 
right, edge guard situation. Once you get to throw out the double jump, he does it early. I'm doing that kind of rip thing right now. Yep. Nice. Great stuff. Yeah, bring it to game playing five. It, playing it safe and works out. He picks Yoshi. As some may know, if you're a freaking viewer of one floor today, like that, usually it tends to actually really like this stage. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, DJ likes the stage a lot, especially because of the, uh, the wall jumps. <laughs> yeah. You just, you know... DJ's a fiend for wall jumps. And that should be it. Yep. Alright, DJ's gonna have to make, the, make a little comeback here. Yeah, he's gonna get pissed off right now. Not just yet. Uh, misses that up air, that was crucial. Yeah, I feel like the side B is all in the air just a little bit longer than DJ expected. Oh, barely misses the timing on the knee. And he's gonna write a combo here. Uh, yeah. And he hit the um the, weird the little yeah, thing with the the, the, the like yeah the lip on Yoshi's. Alright, he's gonna bring it back at least a little bit here. Yeah, he, I have like only seen it happen like once or twice. He does it all the time. Yeah, he's very good. Very good. Okay, gets the jump wedge and once again gets back. This time he's not going to be able to get a shield grab at least. Yeah, this might be a big punish. Gets out. That's the one thing I do. That's a tipper, that's brutal. Should be the stock. Really good nope. recovery. Great the tech. Wall jump. Once yep. again, the wall jump saving is him. Yeah, now Gilson's kind of picking up on the... Yeah. Oh, wow! Great yeah. recognition. Ah, uh, that was a big risk. Rolls in. It's a bit of a scuffle. Gets another upper. Yeah, that's going to do it off the top. It's rare to see that happen, but on Yoshi's, it's very good as Marth to yeah. you know when that works. Yeah, it's like last time, like Kaze, he killed me off the top of the up arrow twice in one game. Yeah. Alright, that's a nope. Yeah. He's gotta close out this stock before getting any more damage. Okay, I mean, it's possible. Yeah, I think the, the position. Okay, that time he gets off the ledge. But up tilt, up tilt, up tilt. And well, I'm gonna kind of put these shades. And this could be it. Yeah, whenever he's like okay. above, he'll do really rough for him. Oh, and Oh, the knee! And that killed him at like 60. Okay. A little scuffle here. And that's it. Oh, one more chance. Yep. Okay. You don't have many more chances here. And the nair doesn't work the one time he needs it to. We'll have Peach Pants versus Kroga. <laughs> Who's he talking about? The name's right for the first time. Alright, hand warmer? Yeah. 
Sheik versus Peach. And follower Mugu. Thanks for the follow. Lovely little matchup here. Yeah, uh, this is going to be interesting mostly because uh, Peach Pan kind of knows this matchup. He's been playing Pope at like every one of these tournaments before they switch to uh, Friday. All the, the Tuesday ones. He's, like most of the grand finals were <laughs> Pope versus Peach fans. Yeah. And a lot of the, most of the winners' finals were too. And most of the a lot of the grand finals <laughs> went to set two. So it, they've played a lot of sets. So I'm sure he knows his Peach matchup a lot pretty of well at this point. That's a lot of hits of down smash right there. Oh wow, the uh, SDs? No. No, he's just alive. And and Proga could have died there if uh, he grabbed the ledge. Commentary a little quiet. Um, okay. I will try to clean up. <coughs> Maybe that. I don't know which one that is, but... Mm. Oh, I think it's is, desktop no, audio. Okay. Let us know if that's better. <coughs> I think I it's this one. Oh, we'll see. Maybe that's... Yeah. Oh, wow, I can hear myself now. <laughs> yeah, now it's a lot louder in our ears, too. So I think that might be way better. Alright, so far, yeah, Peach Pan's been doing some work right now. Better? Alright, I'll awesome. This could be another edge guard for Peach Pan. Wow, the down smash kills there. This is just a, a rough way to start. Yeah, these fans are going a little, a little in right now. Yeah. Wow. That was that pretty was a, clinical. A pretty uh, solid showing, if I do say so myself. I've got 23 viewers in here. Thank you all, really? thank you all for watching. Really uh, appreciate everyone tuning in. we got a staff bracket tonight. Alright, and Peach Pan's already with the edge guard situation right now. Ooh, I like the wall jump for this one for a bit. into the platform. Ops for the wall jump right there, doesn't work out. He's gone good a few times. Yeah. And it's hard, it's hard to say what, uh... Oh, thank you Numadad for the... Tier one. So far, yeah, looking. Yeah, it's hard to say what Proga should do here. It just feels like a punish difference, honestly. Yeah, Peach Pants is killing him very efficiently. Yeah. Like, yeah, he just got a couple of stray hits there off his off his opening. But that was good. Reversal there, and that turn of hits gives him enough time to grab ledge. Wow, okay, this is getting out of hand. Oh man, I don't think dash attack grab works. Does, it, does that work? I don't feel like it's supposed to. All right, gets the gets the kill there. Avoids the four stock, and we won't see a JV. No way. Gets at least one hit there. There we go. But, yeah. Yeah, it's like and wow, wow. just immediately goes for the bear. That was great, great. That trade was great. So yeah, I love I love when peaches go for um those float bears off stage. Yeah, they just they just jump right into position and just go boop. Yep. That's all you need. I don't know if I agree with this. Peach Pants is moving really fast right now. Yeah, you 
Hooligan is coming back ah. to the loser's bracket of a vengeance. Yeah, looks like it. And uh, knocked at the losers by Raid. The sludge dash there is not going to help. Broke his case. This is rough. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah. It's not bait man. Oh, yeah. We'll see if uh, if Evan can do something to bring it back. You know the fans are looking for it. It's just Peach Pants is hitting so hard. Yeah, once again, pretty experienced in this matchup particularly. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Yeah. 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 Sometimes the recovery on FD is weird. You know, like the, the way the stage has been stops you sometimes, or sometimes she rides a bit. Does he get to the bear? He could have just. <laughs> he could have got the bear, yeah, but, but at this point, not looking like it's going to matter too much. Honestly. Yeah. That's going to be it. Six. Wow. That was a quick set. I mean, I feel like Beat Cheek is like not one of those matchups you normally see a, you know, go yeah. that quick. But <laughs> not normally, no. Just uh, I'm curious what match we do next. Very impressive oh, showing. Oh yes, uh, Casey Bans. Proga does know, and he's uh he's in on that match. I let him know earlier today. Dill tune coming up. First losers quarters match. Yeah, this will be this will be an interesting one. Uh, no idea when the last time these two probably played. Definitely, it's got to be a a while ago. Yeah, you guys, uh, you and uh, Squatting Bear haven't been, I haven't seen you guys since CEO, I don't think. Uh, and I didn't even see you for your pool in CEO. I, I was like, where is Casey? He didn't, he didn't think it's cool. <laughs> So, got a Falcon did it here, not the Marth. Interesting pick after just beating DJ with uh, uh, with Marth. Yeah, um, for sure. Oh man, I'm not gonna know who's who, but I'm gonna say. Okay, Raid's red. Yeah, Raid is red. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say Raid. I mean, I think he's actively expressed that he's maybe. Yeah, I think he's actively expressed he's not a biggest fan of the matchup, but he's not bad. At it. He's got a lot of experience, obviously. Living in Sarasota, him and DJ being like, what, two of the, you know, better Sarasota players, they play a lot. <laughs> um, and they play a lot in bracket, and uh, I think the record last season was really close. But I know Raid, you know, being fourth on PR, probably had a, a, bit, a good record in it. And so far he's showing that off. I'm curious if he'll can switch it to Mark. Probably does. Yeah, I would imagine. Just not able to get these tech chases to finish off the stock, and it's gonna cost him. He got a few hits with the tech chase, but it's just nothing significant to uh, yeah. really bring him back to this game yet. And oh, that's gonna be a kill. No, it's no, not. No, up he's hugs him again. Okay. That's gonna be a kill for two cute, okay. Just clean up there. Sure. Looking off stage once again. Snap to the ledge. Uh, tricky Raptor Beast. Alright, 
based on one raid, yeah. I just, I just don't know about this character pick. But we'll see what he does for the rest of the set. Dope dude, I mean, he's got, he, I think his best two are Falcon and Marth and what he's most confident in, but he does have some decent space using a few other secondaries. He plays a lot of, he's played a lot of characters as long as I've known him. Yeah. Dope dude, like, I think he was probably the first, like, or, uh, no, I played Ty, but he was, like, one of the first Marth players that I, uh, had played in Tampa. Pretty much cleans up this game. Yeah, be it. that'll be it. One more move. Wow. Oh, yeah, one more nice. hit. This is off in style. What do we see? I don't know. I could also see him saying here. I feel like. Yeah. He might just be. Okay, he's just. I ha I've seen. Um, you know. Diltune, I'm not sure how he picks his characters. Because I've seen him in a couple sets where I'm like, oh, I. Um, assuming it's gonna switch and it just doesn't end up happening. Maybe he's just like goes in with one character in mind and he just doesn't he just doesn't want to switch mid set. Maybe he just says whatever character I pick game one is the character for the set. Yeah. I'm not sure it's a like counter pick for maybe, but you know. He goes in expecting a Falcon Ditto and he's gonna I guess keep going for it. Clean start from raid. 72% on him. This could be Dilton could bring this even in just a hit or two. Oh, wow. okay. Oh. Just guard him. That was, that was really cool. Alright, Dilton. He's, he's, he's bringing it closer this game so far. Uh, I like the year she pick, I guess. Maybe the ditto, so who cares what yeah. stage you go to 90% of the time. I mean, I tend to take, you know, Falcon, I, I tend to take Raid to Yoshi, but that's a, you know, not a ditto, so, I don't know, I think he's, I don't know how comfortable he is on the first one. He's a big fan of Battlefield, though, as far as I know, it's like his yeah. main thing. Yeah, I think out of the last, like, three sets we played, all of the games have been on Battlefield. <laughs> Oh, he picked the. Uh, or no, today. that's not true. Yeah, he did flick. Uh, he did pick Dream Lunge though. Oh, it is all the way down. Oh, he, this might be the recovery for. Oh my God, they save each other. Okay, and lands on Randall. Well, somehow Dilty gets the recovery there. I, I don't know. <laughs> I felt like both of them were gonna die, and then Dilty somehow just lands yeah, on Randall. That was wacky for sure. This game a lot was going a lot better for him than Game One. Uh, this is the tech chase and the tractor boosted, but no punish. So far, hopefully he's uh, happy with staying Falcon. This is gone well. Yeah. Until this point. Oh man, Dilty in the gamer face is getting crazy right now. Last set he was looking. Last set he was looking chill. This set he's looking a little bit crazy. Yeah, he's got like the leaning down. Yeah. Ray makes it back and he gets rid of the stomp protector. Oh, and he comes back and stops too. Now he's got him on stage. There. Raid goes up 2-0. Uh, Back to Yoshi's. This time Raid's gonna be blue. It's usually one to switch characters like every or colors. He just uh, presses the button and keeps randoming until he gets the color for the, for the game. Yeah. The multicolor man. Back there, but it took it well. <laughs> even game. Yeah, you ripped it up right away. Even funny thing to get hit by. Uh, 
grab there. I'm off stage, Randall saves him. Get a little bit up, a little up air. Psyche is there. He oh, tries to get the sweet spot, but gets down a little bit. <laughs> Needed, nice knee. Cover. Oh, game opportunity. Yeah, lots of back airs. I feel like Raid. Wow. No one uses that's all he needed. Like yeah. No one back airs the way Raid does. That's really, really clean. Oh, this could be it right and it now. could be a Gimp. The oh, other way. Good. Oh, what's going on here? He's doing some DJ stuff. He's got the blue falcon on. He's just yeah. The spirit of DJ got into it. And they raptor boost at each other. I think with two falcons do the same thing. It's way funnier than whenever the other character does it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. Weird set. Yes. But good stuff to raid. 3-0 for raid. Falcon ditto. We got next up. Broken you versus Peach Pants. Let's see if I got the right size. It doesn't look like I did. I didn't. Alright, Peach versus Fox. Between these two, they played... Have they played? Yeah, they played the one... The one time... I think they played the one time like in the year. I think they played twice. Um, and I played like three sets against... Or three or four sets against Peach for that tournament. Which is, uh... Falcon was there too. Was, uh, I want to say they were like it was Stockholm one, Ken got second, and Peach Pants got third. So I think they played in losers, losers finals and winners semis. Here we go. Fox Peach. So, Broken you. I mean, how much Peach? I mean, we never really had a... Have we really had like a top Peach in Tampa? Not that I know of. I can not want to really go out of... Hasn't really been out of Tampa too often. He never really goes to, he never goes to Sarasota stuff or anything. Looks he, like uh, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he tends to... He, I think he's probably... If I could, like, any Peach that I think I've seen him play before, it's maybe, like, Cody from the last time he played Stockholm in the But, I don't think play, I don't know if I've seen him play first Peach at all. He has a Peach himself, he's played this Peach. But How'd that go yeah. versus, uh, Odie in Stockholm? Uh, I know he lost to Stockholm last time, I don't remember what. I, I know he's played, I know I've seen him Odie play, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah. But, so far he's looking nice, and he did win the set. So the last two versus Peach fans. They were close sets though, I think. Crazy early kill with the up air there. Yeah, right. That's why it's, it's, when you get that grab on the top lap, it's so good. Yeah. You get, you get <laughs> the high up air. Right, Peach fans, don't see edge guard. Facing bears right now, pretty well. Smash calls up the landing. Oh, I really Floated in the middle of the platform, and so he can kind of react to wherever he goes. Down to nice little thing. Nice. I would have just gone for, like, he, I think he hit like a weak back air and then he went for a drill off of it. I would have 100% just gone for the up smash right there. He instead gets the drill wave shine. He loves doing. I love doing drills in combos, but it's like really interesting the way he does it. Oh my god, he's just playing with his food here. He's uh, clean game from Ken to start off the set. 
might be an indication of things to come, or each man pull back. Good. He's gonna go for the chain grab. Yep. Let's see. Are we gonna see a chain grab for stock? Just for the shield grab there. Gets the oh, grab. Yeah, I'm not sure when it starts. All right, it's gotta start here, yeah. yeah I can do whatever he wants. Yeah. So I think there's it, I think it goes to 110. Does it not? Yeah. There's like apparently. There's some weird, uh, there's some weird thing you could do wow. at 80, I forget what it was. Oh, he just throws the ball off. Doesn't want to mess with it. Yeah. Uh, last time I, like, commentated with Peach Man during, like, the same tournament where they played, uh, it was, like, during Ken and Stockholm set. He had said something, there's, like, some way you can get out around, like, 80-something percent. Um, I think it's similar to how you, like, you shine out of Mark's chain grab, but it's, like, just one, it's, like, some very specific percent, and if you don't know it, you're not gonna get out. So he sometimes will go for an error around like 80 or whatever. Right. Getting the conversion so far. Oh, uh, just rolls and grabs him. <laughs> yeah, he rolls right past the up tilts. Here we got the king grab going. Yep. Probably gonna do one more. And now hit him. Yep, yep. They're off. Ooh, he's going for some oh, crazy Oh, and that's a low percent death there. Yeah, when he, had a, he had a big percent. lead. Just gives it away. Unfortunate. But looking even back up. Nice. Oh my gosh. Third up out uses it for itself. I feel like people don't grab him. At least I'm here. At least Great edge guard. Great stuff just going out there. Yeah, now keep fans up. Yeah. Um, it off. One more grab would be yeah. nice for him right now. Okay, wave shine up smash. Bread and butter versus Peach. 100% on both of them. Very even game on uh, Peach Man's kind of pick right now. You can fix the things he picks, but the options he picks, like. Question them if they, if they work. Oh, this is the Nair that could have been it. Just, just dash attacks right into the corner into a shield. Yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to, I feel like it was probably supposed to be like a Nair time. That's gotta be it. Yeah. Good All stuff. Right. Peach Pants, thanks for watching out on this counter pick. And we go to game 3 1 1. For both of these guys right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense with the way that group you play. Did not want to trade there with that uh, Firefox. But it happens. Nice tech chase. That's something, uh, he does it all. Jam Jammy does it all. The top one, but still, he's like, does it, sometimes it comes out really fast, just like, fair off the ledge. And it's right in front of Fox. Yeah. Can you see Peach? No. Ken is the Fox. We just can't. They. <laughs> if it was, a. Uh, it called? It's either we pick the names go near their cameras or their names go near their stocks because the stocks are on opposite sides of the uh, their cameras. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Four smash there. Okay, nice shine bear. Let's see what he can do here on the edge guard. Oh, he gets the grab there. So I like hurt, I like said it in my head and I was like, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to say right now. And I was like, no. <laughs> I'm supposed to say it. But let's do it. It was. Peach Pants evening it up right away. This has been a pretty close set so far. 
This could be bad. Okay. Still be bad. Yeah, can you one more shot? back, he does. Get that back here, get some more champions. Oh, nice coverage. This is gonna be huge. I mean, going up on taking the game on your opponent's counter pick would be pretty good for Beach Fans right now. Yeah, but and. Got one more counter pick. Oh. Gets the wedge. Goes for the platform. Oh, oh. oh. shine. Oh, he's gonna get the radiation off. And now he's in a real bad spot. But he gets okay, the ledge. Gets the ledge. Yeah. And gets called out with his boot up there. Oh, and that's gonna be it. No! Wow! I can't believe that missed. But he's got so much percent on him. No way Ken brings this back, right? Oh my god. Just one more catch from either of them. Oh! I think upper, up, uh, up throw, upper kills here, but he's off stage. Nice sweet spot. Soft hit. Great angle. Defense kind of scared to go out there. Oh! Slow get up, and still not it. Another great angle, but tournament winner is gonna do it. <laughs> oh, that went on for a long time. That was a clencher. And your beach fans played. That is, you know what, Richard? You got a point there. To be fair, Michu King does not play Michu. Counter example. That's fair. But. Mewtwo's not on the screen when Mewtwo King plays, so... <laughs> this is true. Well, you never know. Cool. Or something. Wow. Great angle around that bear. Yeah. Peach Pants, yeah, looking strong. Hey, after taking that lead after that game, it could have been either of their, either oh. their game like five times. Uh, yeah. I like the drill, but it ended up uh, a little bit in this space for, I don't know, a little too high to get anything off of. Oh, yeah. well. Yep. Well, good catch one. The drill sign up smash. The shield poke is like super weak up there twice. Alright, this is what Ken needs, but that was a weird side B. Still gets the kill. Yep, up there on the uh, drift on the foot down. Alright, Ken definitely wants some extra credit here. And he is getting it. He is. Lots of damage already. Lots of damage. Wow, and that just... Whoa, what an explosive stock. Uh, now he's really a... Now that was a Ken combo. <laughs> Yeah, we don't, we don't talk about the other cat combo anymore. <laughs> that guy's lost. Yeah. <laughs> He's not. We don't care about him, we care about Broken Yu. Come on, who wins in 2022? Ken or Broken Yu? Uh, he just dies. Yeah. I mean, unfortunate, but it was looking like he was gonna. Was like we got another but game fiver here. Broken Yu versus Peach Pants. Yeah. It's game fives. Where does he go? Found a dream. Yeah, I feel like that tends to be the last what, the game five. Yeah, Peach Peach is like FOD. Oh no. That is very unfortunate. Not much else to say. Yeah, starting off with a stock down, but yeah. and and after that, how dominant last game was, maybe that's not the worst thing for him. Yeah. He could get a quick kill here like he did last game. It's gonna be a little bit more tough with uh, the higher ceilings, but he could definitely do it. The yeah. wave shine oh, up tilt. Okay, just uh, two high percent for that to combo. And I mean, if he gets the kill now, back in, come off. too bad. Reverse up smash. So trying to catch him with the up smash from landing. Nice call out there. Wow. Good. <laughs> Sometimes the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Good uh, read on the drift. All right, it's a punish. Off stage. Great. Oh, oh, he 
and an SD from dead. Peach Pants. Oh. At an even lower percent than Ken SD. Wow. And now Ken is just taking the opportunity to go in, but he gets down smash lots of times. Wow, this is a, a wacky game for sure. Wacky game five. I think the nerves are at play. If I had to guess. Can you hear the game audio? Over there? Like, do you hear his oh, do I? game audio? Um, I think I might just be hearing it from over there. Yeah, I think so. Alright, what is gonna happen here? Goes for the double up smash. Alright, bad position, but crazy angle. That's just what he needed. Recovery. Neither of them make it this easy for the other one. Yeah. Oh. And those tournament winners are costing him. Last stock, game five. It's your percent apiece. We've seen it before. But what happens here? Yeah, it's still so oh, even. Yeah. Misses the upper, gets the up tilt, smash the eye, and yeah. bad position for Peach Pants, but now it's a good one. Covering with Bear, and he gets back on. Oh my god, he jumps off the stage. Oh, he jumps off the stage, but comes back with Bear. And it works out, and that might be the set. Oh! But now he's alive. Oh, oh. he's alive, he's too low. Wow. That's the way to end it. Wow. Peach Pants clutching it out. Taking his first set over Broken U. Yeah, good stuff to Peach Pants. That was a that was a tight tight set. And a game five. Hype, hype, hype All set. Right. Yep. You're up. All right. See you, fellas. Good luck out there. All right. Now we're in for a nice winners finals. We're going to be getting what Florida's favorite commentator on the mic in about a second. Now, once again, did I get. Ooh, this is a warm headset. Hello, everyone. Change it to the commentary cam. Let them know who it is. Press that one silly little button. Hey! Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Nate, Florida's favorite commentator, and I am, am here today uh, broadcasting live for you. Twitch.tv slash Gamers on the Edge. Here we go. Hello. Winner's finals. Winner's finals. We got Seha versus Ooh, Equilateral. The mic sounds so good today. Yeah, I kind of, well, I just made them a little bit louder, but the one thing I can't hear is the game audio. I'm not sure... Which one that, which thing I have to do to get that. So, EQ versus Peach Pants? No, versus Seha. Versus Seha, wow. Has it been mentioned that Seha is here? I mean, obviously he's <laughs> been on stream, but like, yeah. what, a, what a momentous occasion. Yeah, uh, it has been a while since we've seen him. Uh, last tournament he came to was one of the double XP's at the Kava Bar, and it was, um, that's right. That was over yeah. six months ago, I think. It was, yeah. It was last at some point last year. Um, he at that tournament he got double eliminated by Schmang. Ooh, just gonna bring it up just for fun. Yeah, shout out to Schmang. <laughs> Schmang Nation, rise up. But today he's got to play. I'm curious what character he goes. Does he go Fox or does he stick with the? Uh, does he go with the Sheik pick? He did pick Sheik first, broken you, and end up winning it. So. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Sheik. I thought I saw him warming up as Sheik. I thought yeah, that was what like I saw him playing. I would expect that in this matchup. It's a pretty, you know, pretty safe bet. Um, uh, you could always go DK too. That's right. DK that's famously like does option. not have a bad matchup versus Marth. Um, if you listen to uh, West Florida alumni uh, Akir, he'll <laughs> tell you everything you need to know and more about oh, yeah. DK Marth and how it's actually not that bad. It's true. And you know what? He knows way more about the game than I do, so I'll just take his word for it. And he knows way more about Donkey Kong. Than maybe anyone. 99.9% <laughs> of the Melee player base. 
there's maybe like two people who <laughs> yeah who might know as much or more about Donkey Kong. That's right. Hey, I don't know if you've been you've been letting the people know, but um, nope. Gamers on the Edge. What is what is Gamers on the Edge? But a charity organization supporting the lives of uh, ch sick children yeah. across America. And um, yeah, if you haven't already uh, followed and you've been watching this stream as we move into the grand final uh, sets here, or the finals, excuse me, and, and then the, the end of losers and all that. Um, Please consider following and supporting this uh, local charity, this esports charity, who do so much for our local community uh, and as melee players, as well as uh, many other games trying to have a spot to host their games. Um, also, if you have the uh, the money on hand or the prime sub available, at 50 subs they will be gaming, giving away a gaming chair. So that's always a uh, you know yeah. a cool thing to do. I think you got to be a sub to, to enter the giveaway. So. If you always want a gaming chair, this could be your chance to get one for the low, low price of five dollars. Usually, like that's actually that's a good deal considering they're usually like two hundred dollars or I'm more. Like that. But you know, obviously, it's not guaranteed, right? Yeah. But um, yeah. So it does appear that say I will be playing uh, cheap. Yeah, it looks like we got a uh, man. I got them back. I've gotten them backwards every time. <laughs> I love how in every shot of every player cam I've ever seen say hi ever in, ever, forever, he's always like half in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he I don't even, like there's no he, way he could know about <laughs> it. He just does it on his own. Just like. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, yeah, we go into, this is winner's finals. We're getting down to the end of it, top four right now. In this bracket, we still got these two, and then Peach Pants versus Raid for the runback. Ooh. For fourth place. And who won that in, in the winner's side? Raid. Raid did. Yeah, Raid oh. won 2-1. 2 one. In winner's quarter, so. That's a. Uh, that is. That's something. That is something. Quite, quite indeed. Quite indeed? That doesn't make sense. Quite indeed. <laughs> All right, so we're starting off on Battlefield. Yeah, it's, it's Stadium. Yep, Stadium. Yep. EQ asking Bill if that was, uh, FD was okay to start, and Bill saying, nope. No, he was saying, if, yeah, well, he was asking if it was FD or Stadium starter. Yep. So who do you got? Which one of these two players do you think wins? In this matchup, I'm, if, if Say I was playing Fox, you know, I'd say you. But I'm really not sure. Say I was playing pretty well with Sheik earlier. I think uh, EQ's momentum, though, is just so... Uh, like, he shows up to every event and wins all of them or gets second place, you <laughs> he know? Does constantly do well at everything he ever enters. And Seiya obviously a strong player and we know from being in the Discord with him and seeing a million net play pings mm -hmm. at all hours of the day that he has, you know. He has been grinding recently. He's been he's grinding. Been but yeah. is a week of grinding enough to like carry his skill to compete with EQ who has been consistently non-stop? Well, I don't think it's only a week. I think he's been playing for a consistent amount for a, for a little bit he's been getting back into it yeah, he just only started pinging that player recently my my point still stands EQ has never yeah, no breaks for the no breaks on this train oh yeah he's been going since since like the first time I really saw him coming out to tournaments he has just been constantly getting better which Ever is like since. four years at this point three years yeah, it's gonna be three or four years at this yeah. point um I, I, I want to say it was 2019 that I first met him a young, a young Joseph out here just destroying everybody. Even then, he didn't know how to dash dance. Actually, he did. That's all he would do. Um, he didn't know how to do anything but dash dance. But now look at him. Yeah. I doing remember. things other than dash dancing. I remember. Still like winning though. Having like a hundred zero record over him. Like a hundred percent. <laughs> like you know, I didn't lose to him for a while. Hundred percent. Yeah. And then it was like over the summer while I was gone, I come back. And it's like, oh, EQ's beating everyone, and I was like, I still got my record, but it's uh, it's about it's time that, that <laughs> we end up playing, and it ends up my record goes away. The and Zelda that did happen. The Zelda Switch was ambitious. Uh, I think you normally just take the soft right there, but really, EQ's only getting 18% off of it, so 
honestly not that bad of a trade. So far, this is pretty close. I'm, into, uh, I'm curious about the stage strike. I didn't pay attention to their stage striking, but the end of one was so sick. I wasn't oh paying attention either. God. That was crazy. <laughs> I love that Beetle can't pull those. Fair. Yeah, blink and you miss it. I was blinking, I missed it, but yeah. <laughs> Dude, he like did a, a needle turn around and then like canceled it literally right before he hit the platform and then wave landed off and then prepared. It was, it, was it was really fast. Zaya she is so quick. Yeah. He does some crazy stuff. This guy always been has always been insanely technical and like good at the game with so many characters and it, it shows in mostly like you know, he typically goes with Fox or she or even he used to be a Donkey Kong main back in the day, um, but like, yeah, you know, classic uh, combo video, DK main box USF. He, uh, he could beat a lot of people here with a lot of, <laughs> a lot of the top three. Yeah. Famously, say how out here going random and beating everybody at USF that one day. Yeah, right. That was, that was your, your best combo video for the expansion channel. Uh, that was a good one. That was a real good one. Even though those all make me cringe now. Yeah, I mean, hey, you got better as an editor, you know? It, ha it, it happens. I assume that's why you're cringing, unless there's yeah, something else. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, smart air dodge. Recovery. So smart. EQ goes for the read on the up Oh, he gets grabbed. Oh, he gets grabbed. Up smash is a good way to end it. it. It's a solid ending that, you know, it locks you out of getting some of the more greedy options, but it does, you know, still lead into a lot of uh, potential follow-ups. Well, also, I heard, uh, so Seha gets this winner, got to the winner's finals today by beating uh, Burpee, and I heard him saying before, uh, that was his first ever win. Yeah. Ever. Yep. Ten's a monster. Still is. But, uh... Seha being, you know, one of the... Perennials. One of the best players in Tampa as long as I've lived here. Yeah. Uh, always been like, I, assume, I think was, as long as I've been here, he's been like at least top five on every CR he's been on. So. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy to see him never beat uh, Broken until today, but it just shows how, how good people in this region can be. Yeah, Ken is just really a, a strong player. Smash. Okay, that should. Oh, interesting. He's just, just fidgeting around all the different oh, platforms. The, going the crazy. Yoshi Story slanted platform absolutely. You want to land on that there? That absolutely shut down everything Seiji was trying to do, but he actually cleans it up anyway, so. Oh, good. There was no, no harm, no foul, as they say. And Seiya starting out this game pretty strong on Yoshi's. Uh, it's an interesting yeah. God, the, the movement around the platform is just so precise. So good. Yep, get prepared just by moving. Okay, sometimes it's a little excessive. Fair off the ledge. Some, I, whenever I play Marth, I feel so difficult to get anything going when you're on the ledge. But somehow, uh, EQ always makes it work. You know what I mean? He always finds a way off. Yeah, that tech trade down smash ends up taking the stuff too. EQ brings back to even stocks. And Seha is just looking to win this game. So far, it's looking like his game to oh, He knew about Randall and didn't get it. I'm, I'm wagering yeah, it was, uh, it was just a little bit late. I don't know. Maybe he could have stalled with a side B or something if he was ready for it. But. I, yeah, I'm not sure how good of an idea that would have been anyways. I think he made the right call by risking for it. Okay, wave dashes up and down smashes, and going to the top platform and then just coming down. To the Back here. needle cancel. He does the needle cancel. Oh, the, him up. and the, the poof to throw him off Randall. And he doesn't get F smash. Yeah, that's... For no reason. Yeah, the inside hitbox. Or, there isn't a hitbox inside. Excuse me. The lack of an inside hitbox. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Oh my god, Seha is moving his correct. On it. it sure is. Yeah, just the moving around the top platform, making it... Trying to make it as ambiguous as he can, where he, what he's doing, but EQ is that up, up. that up smash was absolutely supposed to be a follow-up up air. 
starting to get the percent and get a... Yeah. And now it's an even game. Yeah. In fact, not an even game, because EQ's got the advantage <laughs> and the stock. Yeah, there you go. After looking really strong this day, I mean, he's taking it back slowly. Yeah. He tried to just have no. the platform. And that's ambiguous, obviously, to hold ledge there. But, oh, the fair string is going to end up with the stock. Oh, he missed his turnaround for that grab, I, I, I guess. But that was a really funny interaction. And this is Seha's chance right here. Oh, yeah, he's, he's second lease, maybe even a third. I think the, the thing that Seha is doing a lot is like, you know, he's just trying to make his timing hard to call. Oh, oh the dare. That was looking like Seha's game right there, you know? It really was. But he's trying to, he's like trying to call out a lot of uh, where EQ is, or like, just like stalling, I don't know, he's like trying to mix his movement up. The box is coming out for uh, FD. A bold choice, you know, truly a bold decision. But it's bold. bold is what I would call it. It will advise, maybe even. <laughs> okay, a little cool, cool tech out there. Uh, he's just being a little pet skill master right now. <laughs> yeah. Ray doesn't come over and check and fly there on him. <laughs> yeah. He's like, wait, they're on MD, but I thought he just won that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was a little bit strange, certainly. And EQ... not going for anything. It's so far, it's still working out. It's so yeah. close. I wasn't really paying attention to what happened though. so far. Ooh, Ooh missed it. Oh. It's good Even EQ are... shaking his head. These I guys are. You never want to see that happen. Yeah, they have foxes, uh... I will say. Say his fox is donating a lot. Stage. Yeah, donating a lot of stocks to, you know. I'll say that if he does, like... Oh, okay, okay, that was cool. If he gets this game, that's a good, like... Nope. <laughs> and just like that. <laughs> if he gets this game, no shot. Uh, EQ with the quick 3-0. <laughs> moving on to the uh, the next... Yeah, moving on to grand finals. Grand don't finals, know, winner's don't side. Know if he's even, I don't think he's dropped a game yet today. Right, he's yeah. not dropped a game yet. EQ kind of a, kind of a maniac. Kind of a monster. And he just, he's already, you know, everyone else was playing. He was just on commentary for the past, like, <laughs> yeah. however long. I know uh, uh, Joseph has been trying to talk to me about getting more into commentary. He's, yeah. He's yeah. really been enjoying that. And he usually has insightful things to say. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun commentary. He was to to yes. I know he wants to be doing that more in uh, uh, EQ, uh, attends the University of Florida in Gainesville, and wants to be, or is also the TO for the... Yeah, Gatorland? No, no, not oh, Gatorland. Gator, yes, Gatorland, but uh, that's like a once in a semester thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, GSC. The Stock Exchange. Gainesville the Gainesville Stock Exchange. Yeah. Great name for a tournament, by the way. Definitely. Good. Um, and uh, he is the he is the TO, and he's I think he's also trying to be one of the broadcasters, and also the guy who wins it every week. So he's he's really out here juggling every. We're in a lot of hats in Gainesville. Speaking of juggling, Something Captain Falcon versus Peach, or the versus Peach. Something you know, him the king of Gainesville. They call him the King of Gainesville. I think Gabe started calling him that, and I liked it. So I That's pretty good. Yeah. Started calling him that. I think. I think so. Who actually would be the King of Gainesville typically would be uh, Stan or Tempo. Uh, in fact, he was tagged to be Tempo, but he just goes by his first name in brackets now. I saw him last night. Winning a tournament in, in Texas. In Texas. Of all yeah, yeah, that yeah. guy is really good, and he would be. I actually, I meant to tell EQ about that today. I wonder um, what EQ's record against Tempo is. I don't they, think they've they played. played. I don't think they've played because Tempo just never went to anything. Who knows if you, you know, EQ will get the chance. But anyway, this set yes. is completely different. Uh, yeah, not a EQ. The run back from winner's quarter is great, taking it at a 2-1. Uh, Peach Pants took the first game, what looked like pretty solidly, I think, and then Raid ended up just bringing it back yes. and uh, winning the set. We got uh, Raid here, the, the pissed off floaty player, versus an actual floaty, floaty player. I know uh, 
well, perhaps it's just, you know, my experience with Kyle, Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. But I know a lot of Peach players don't, aren't particularly fond of this matchup. Yeah, it's a, uh, I mean, Falcon just has, yep, there yep. we go. Yeah, I was going to say, really up air, up air, knee. Peach. Yeah. Up air is probably the bane of Peach's existence. How could you get around it? Up air is a good move. move. Um, but yeah, Raid, once again, I said earlier, he's got a lot of Peach practice. Sarasota just, uh, well, you know, for a while, you know, said Stockholm Syndrome is their number one player for so long. And now yeah. there's just like an influx of Peaches in, in West Florida and in Sarasota, there's like three now or something. Three or, there's a bunch of them. So. Yeah, and, and I, I, I think Seven Sins was in the area as well. Yeah, he never really went to anything. But talented player uh, yeah. as well. I, uh, edgy yeah, tag, good. though. A little, little bit edgy. Yeah, it's a tag. <laughs> well, okay, I actually don't think that was his tag. I think that was just his Discord name. I, that guy never went to anything, but I thought oh, his tag meant something else. I think it was his Sins. Like, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I felt like it was something to do with Peach, but maybe I'm just... Yeah, shout out. Shout out to Peach Team. Oh no, he, that's what it was. His tag was Stitch Face for a while. Oh. I knew it. Maybe. Maybe I'm completely wrong. But anyway, this is now in Peach Pants' favor this, this game. That's right. Okay, he gets the combo right now. And oh, that jab was so good. He's going to set up a Nair into. Okay. And. Oh, okay. Gets the reverse hitbox, not going to clean up the stock, but 114 for Captain Falcon. And if Peach makes it back here, which probably won't happen. Uh, um, he's got a lot of mix-ups there. Oh, he definitely wanted to fall off and up there. I don't think he meant that right there. Oh, that's it. So Peach right. Pants taking a, taking a game one lead. And you said that happened last time as well. Yes, he did start, He did take game one, and then Raid ran it back to battlefield, what he's about to do right now. And won the set 2-1. So we'll see what happens in this game. Ooh, the down smash on platforms is always a painful thing to watch happen. I think the rubble lot so first game started that way too. Oh my god. Alright, so far we got a uh, Raid with a few hits. And the one thing he was doing in the first set that uh, I thought was working really, okay. uh, I thought was working really well for me was he's getting down throw me, like he spends with DI up and in. And we just uh, it's great just always to be able to connect with him. Yeah. Peach, you know, you can if you DI out and away, wiggle out air dodge, you can get out of that down throw me, but uh, it's not hard, it's not easy. And sometimes you can get DI in your spot. Yeah, coming down with the yeah the soft knee can be a bit greedy at times, but it worked out there. A little low to make it back, but got an easy game here. Get hit for the down smash. Leftover PF Changs with milk? Come on, Connor. That sounds like You're a, better than that. That dude. sounds like a stomach ache ready to happen. You're better than that, man. Connor, Connor has always got Please leftover don't. PF Changs on deck, though it seems. Why are you drinking milk? No, it's, it's good for your bones, man. Yeah, it is a little bit gross. But you gotta okay, have. Ray just, yeah, just, just destroying him right now. Okay. It's true. Too busy talking about milk. And yeah, that was you're flabbergasted by his questionable culinary decisions, but uh, yeah, I'm you know. A bit Connor. All right, all right. Nair is going <laughs> back to the match. Nair is going to be uh, making things happen here. Yeah, he's got that seventy percent really any good hit is complete for the knee for raid. So recovering, tries to use the fair to come back. I can't, yeah, talk, I can't talk about milk anymore. Yeah, look away, look away, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's what there's about the out there, D. That is just yes. Bill, so often. 
one one the powerful down throw D. Braid with the solid game on the second battlefield. You can use Gangrave Falcon with these, so that's what he's going to want. Okay, misses the grab and will get grabbed himself, leading to a stock exchange. How long does the tech chase or the chain grab last for on FD? On um, Falcon, I'm not, re I'm not really sure. Um, oh, the reverse snare is going to set something up. No, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> wow, that's there such a good nair. Not many of the stock just yet. One more recovery gets open. Yeah, Beast just has so many. So many options of getting back to stage, the float and the way her recovery works, and you can just, you know, you can go fast or you can go slow whenever you want. It's like if they added... Is that four tilt? Oh my god, Peach Pants, you maniac. I don't know if that dude is on purpose, he's probably just trying to, probably trying to do like a full drift in upbeat. Was indeed. Looking strong on MD. They didn't get to play on MD in the last set because of the, the ban of the band of the three. Yes. We got the finger coming out. We'll see how long this lasts then. <laughs> okay, go for like 90. That's kind of where he's been ending it every time. Um, and I can't recall if it goes any further. But I want to say it, it should possibly go further. Maybe not on Falcon, but on Space. That's the round where he ended every time the round ended the time. Raid is still... Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Raid is trying to get a... Yep, that's gonna be it. Any kind of kill move right now. Both kind of high percent to really... ...take the stuff. That is a juicy knee right there. I, have, I don't know if he has a read on it or if it's just a you know, lucky guess that time, but you know, a lot of times you uh, get out of the down throw combo and you're like, ooh, he's down, but I punish him and you just run at him right away. Yeah. He's not ready for that. But Raid was ready for it and just waited and kneed. Yeah. And, and that double there. jump, that double jump knee he did was like a huge commitment too. If, if he had messed that up even a little bit, he probably would have been punished severely if not losing the stock. Yeah, and without his double jump, he would have gotten hit. Yep. Likewise, as you see, uh, Peach Pants not at a high percent. He's committing with these knees that, uh, without his double jump. Still like a full hop, full commit, but not nearly as uh, dangerous an option should he fail. Doesn't make it back there. We go to the last stop on this game. Can Peach Pants bring it to 2 1 or will they? 2 1. Oh, he gets the grab, but goes for a down throw. That's it. Get punished for it. And we got. We got them up 3 1. So far, the same as last But this time, there's still more melee to be played. So much more melee to be played. There's at least one more game. At most. Back to FD we go. Uh, that was kind of cool. Oh, that was that's cool. Little... Here we go. I'm going to get those couple of chain grabs. But I'm going to get out. And, uh, if there's a run in there with the boat. Right that was an efficient punish right there. Yeah, Dropped it twice, but still only taking 17%. Mm -hmm. No big damage. They're phantom. Oh, and he reads him with the dash attack. Somehow not getting punished, though. Here we go with the combo. Oh, he messed it up. He messed that up. 
Looks like he might actually. It looks like he can actually, though. <laughs> Things aren't really aren't, aren't shaking out in much different of a situation. I think he took another 10%. Yeah. So far, Peach Pan season is kind of big. to its fullest. Yeah, a lot stronger. Looking a lot stronger this game than the last one. Might be, but. Oh my God. With a few good hits, crash, but now he's That's right. Oh, it makes it out. Stomp. All right. Peach pants. Four Full stock, one stock right count. Not, not, not Managed to clip them with, with the umbrella. Oh my God. Rolls for the reads the the roll with the grab. Doesn't get it. Me, but just jump to get and hit the up air anyway. Even hey, no four stock. No JV. I swear we've been close to getting four stock a few times in this tournament, and then they just end up like not being close. Okay. He's gonna go very close to go for those like full hop and then low fall knees to try to do something. Okay, two stocks remain, 121, yeah, and, right. and that's going to be it. And we go to, yet again, another game five. I feel like it's, there has, I don't know if there's been a 3-1, there's just been game 5s with 3s. <laughs> Either you're evenly matched, or you just get blown out. So winner of this goes on to play Seha. Yes, Grant, or in no. In, win, in yes. losers final. Losers finals, yes. Alright. Pick Dreamland, I I'm interested in this pick, I don't know. A lot of room for Valgan to run around. Yeah. For worth. I just feel like Pokemon Stadium might be a typically better Falcon stage, but Raid yeah. really not the biggest uh, not the biggest uh, proponent of doing the uh, best option for the typical best option. Instead, just picking what feels best to him, and you know if that works for him. I mean, he's in loser semis right now, right? Yep. I know Mike is less of a um, stage believer, Ray is less of a stage believer yeah. than a lot of people are. Yeah, more of like a, yeah, just go by feel what you go in, in the moment, you're like, what stage do I want to go on? Okay. Did he get the recovery? Nothing yet. Each man's at a pretty high percent, could die from really anything right now. Ooh, good knee. Floating down for me. Yeah. It is a little, you know, good grab, I should say, because that leads into the knee. But good weight on with that, uh, the forward air right there. Oh, run up shield twice, and it works both times. Unfortunately, nothing comes from opening up, like winning that neutral exchange. Um, got Captain Falcon Peach right here, oh even God. stocks. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's never mind. No even stocks. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's peach pants during this game five. Yeah, at, at a, a, a low percent, that's a pretty heavy donation. Don't bring this back, you know. Only one stock down. Yeah. One good punch on Falcon is all you need. Look at edge guard. But will Ray give you that? that the answer is no. The, ans the answer is no. Right now, it's <laughs> right now the answer. I can tell you, I don't even need to say what, what happens next. The answer is no. <laughs> yeah, Rage is taking so much. He's been giving him a little bit of room, and now Rage is running with it. And what looks like it's going to be close. Might, might just end up being Rage moving on to the Zoomer final. Yeah, he's got to have some crazy RNG if he wants to make this comeback, I think. Turnups are an equalizer. Uh, another stitch, another bomb maybe, maybe a beam sword, but... 
dot or winky face would have been useful. Back air. Finish this now. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he needs to finish it now as much as he needs to just uh, not push his not push his advantage as hard as Yeah, uh, not get finished. And and he is doing a really good job with that so far. Really just playing playing neutral, not getting too antsy about winning because he knows I have the lead. It's gonna take a lot more for him to win to play it slow and Okay. Yeah, that's a good. Okay, he's gonna make it back to the platform. Cancel recovery? Yeah. Captain Falcon's Edge cancels is powerful, but hey, you know what? The reality you said might come into, into existence. Yeah, one. Two punishes. Lots of defense. Back here, not gonna do it just yet, not on this stage. It's kind of fixed. Working against him in that way, but. So far, we got to turn up on accident. Yeah, no way was that intentional. That's gonna be it. No. Oh, the platform gets in the way. Now that is it's also not gonna be it. Yeah. What? Oh, the forward snap is crazy. Oh, okay. The up air cleans it up. Yeah. That's right. Uh, an unfortunate SD there at the end. Uh, it's it, you can't help think, but what would have happened if their you know yeah. low percent SD didn't happen? But you know what? Maybe next time. The raid's moving on to the winner's finals. Losers. Or losers' finals, <laughs> excuse me. Versus Seha. Yes. Now, these players have not played for a very long time. Maybe ever. Yeah, I couldn't tell you the last time. They definitely have. They, it's definitely not. They've definitely played. But the last time it happened, I couldn't tell you when it was. Probably like seven, 2017, if they ever played each other. Nah, definitely at least like 2018, 2019. Yeah, probably like 2018, 2019, you know, I, if they've I ever played each other. <laughs> I've, I've definitely seen them play, I just don't remember what it was. But it looks like it's going to be uh, Fox Falcon? I think it's another sheep pick would come out after the people set. Yeah, who knows? Uh, you never know what character he's going to pick, what he's feeling. Well, let me tell you this. Well, these guys are warming up. Um, the Octagon is the thing that's happening. Yeah. That's right. Um... I know. Twelve matches. Twelve matches for the octagon. So we're looking for a few more. Is what you're saying? We could fit, we could squeeze in a few. Fifteen matches for the for the card. Another three. I'd say we go max fifteen. Yeah. I'm gonna make a post about that. So if you at home were interested in participating in the octagon, please get in touch with myself, uh, Nate, Bill, Deej. We uh, have a few people who are looking for opponents. So. Uh, check the Octagon Challenges uh, tab in the Wiffle Discord. Yep, the Wiffle Discord. If you're not already part of it, you should be a part of it. What are you doing? Let's be also, real. he does go shoot. Yeah. Maybe he just wanted to like, warm up the Fox. I think he'll do that. I mean, Bliss did that to me. He, he, he warms up with Falco and then he goes, I'm going Yoshi. Two, two, two. Uh, Ooh, the needle Fox turn around for that uh, edge guard was, or the grabbing the ledge was, was pretty clean. Raid. I've seen him be, uh, I've seen him hope. be hope in this matchup, so it's not like he's like a, you know, a lot of Falcons can tend to have trouble with this matchup, tend to not like it. Pope is a different cheek, though, than, than oh, yeah. Chase, than Seha. Definitely different, but I wouldn't say too far off in how, how uh, that was weird. <laughs> um, how hard the win is, I guess. But so far, they have a bit of a lead, but nothing that can't be made up by Captain Falcon. That's right. Captain Falcon is kind of known to uh, rack up damage and combos. Absolutely rip Sheik apart when the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, both men just, they're both like perfect ways to like get comboed by each other. I think a lot of time people in this matchup 
you know, Falcon tends to struggle a little bit due to the way that you can tilt to face him out, but... Their combo, their punish game, you know, is... Yeah, their punish game is pretty on par if you're a good Falcon or a good shooter. Yeah, just like that, even game. Even game. Ray playing pretty good today, if I do say so. I'd like to see him out here. I know Reed has talked about recently, like, he made a force on PR, right? And he was like, alright, now I got my one good season, and I'm gonna go back to being, like, not as good and losing people. This tournament is showing that that's not true, and he is still keeping up his, uh, fourth place, uh, skill from last season. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't even think he will, ooh. I don't even think he believes that, you know what I mean? The way he's been just taking names so consistently. Uh, ooh. Okay. Yeah, that was a good down air. Ooh! Down air knee, yes! It didn't seem like a stop knee, but... That was exactly what it was. Yeah. yeah. Is that just a chord thing? The chord's doing that? Back to Battlefield we go. They one game, but it was a close game. Yeah. I think if, uh... Oh, shocking miss right there. Yeah, that's a fairly straightforward edge guard to, to complete, but okay. Yeah, that was definitely supposed to be the reverse as well. Yeah, those are gimmies. You, you can't be missing those. Yeah, it's questionable. I mean, being, you know, Chase, he's good at a lot of characters, and even if he gets on, gets stuck playing Zelda, he's got, he knows how to play Zelda. Um, yeah, but... Whether it's a, you know, absolutely terrible matchup, and Raid is way better than his Zelda is, that, that may be true, but he at least knows how to play Zelda better than the typical shooting game, the most shooting game. Yeah. But right now, it's definitely not looking at it. Okay, go for the transform, but that might be the stock. Yeah. Just to transform. Zelda kind of erasing the whole stuff from Seha as I talk about him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you can see Chase was, uh, Seha was like cracking a smile there. You know yeah, what I mean? He, like he was man. having fun with that one. He knows he's up a game and, and the counter pick war is something he, I think he can win on attrition and I think he thinks that as well. So. Yeah, so far, Raid. Just coming back to the same thing I said for Dragon. Yep. Aerial pressure from Seha right now. Second place with the two target. Yeah, and just like that, even game. As if the Zelda stock never even happened. Yeah, it's uncommon that you want to do that, and it's pretty common that you get it anyways. Yeah. Going for a lot of dash attack or forward tilt. It'll happen. It's gonna happen. Ooh, that was that was stylish. Yeah, his his uh, like wave dash on there is very something I've never even considered doing that. Oh yeah. Just because you can generally just grab the ledge there, but the wave dash off air is a cool thing. It is. Seems unnecessary, but it's cool. Yeah, it's it's like you know, it'll be a situation where it's the best option, but it's not usually the best option. But sometimes it might be. The Nair into Crouch Cancelled Down Smash. I'm surprised that worked at, with Sheik at a, the percent that she was. Yeah, 
Probably the best age uh, for, you know, cheek in the matchup. So, Falcon. Falcon? Oh, yeah, obviously. For the stage that actively handicaps Captain Falcon's yeah. movement. I think this stage, you know, typically is fun. Starting to pick up the read, it feels like. You know, it was a close for a few games, but the fact that we're looking at parts of one of them out is a lot harder to run off the record. Yeah, but it does lend to the idea that he could make a, you know, a three-game comeback. Oh, that was totally unintentional. You could tell the head shake. I was going to say that was intentional, but, like, you know, mid-combo Zelda transform. Either you're going for the hard BM or, you know, your fingers were doing the acting without your permission. Up here. And Zelda is, uh, you know, once again, not working out for it. Yeah. Actually, I haven't even gained once again, once more. It feels like Sam has really just like one, one little ship ahead of him right now, and it's just working out really well. All the, all the games have been like they're constantly going through the whole time. Yeah. Even stocks, but they are just slightly pushed out. Yeah, because if you think about like how he's going even, you know what I mean? A lot of it is him kind of fooling around. Not enough, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was a 164 SD, but you know, you're just as dangerous at 164 as you are at zero. So, even the Zelda, once again. Gotta go for the transformation, which does open you up to losing your ability. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately for him, not a. Uh, or unfortunately for Raid, unable to get anything started. Yeah, he goes for the knee off the transformation. Oh, that falling up there was so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's it. Yes. Rio for Seha. Grand Final. TQ versus Seha. Equilateral once again. In the run back to the winners final. Uh, it was uh, so like when we were when I was doing the seeding for this tournament, I was looking at it and I was like, wow. I just like I'm going to be seeding EQ first, and that's like. Yeah. Probably like the first time, you know, that like players like Ken and Say are here and I'm just like EQ. EQ is easily the first seed. Yeah. You know, just I think you were right to do that. Constantly on the come up. Also shout out to uh shout out to your seeding. You gave me the exact bracket I wanted today. I didn't make any of the match the wins happen I wanted, but you yeah. you, you gave me my dream bracket today. <laughs> But yeah, keep up the good work. <laughs> yeah, I tried to. A lot of the seating is a little bit weird, but it was mostly just. Uh, played three people that I haven't played today yeah, in like a sure very long time. Making sure people don't play similar people. Usually end up playing Kevin, usually end up playing like R RMD or whatever. Random Deathmatch, whatever his name is. <laughs> RDM, whatever. Like. RMD. RMD, RDM, whatever. There's an R in there, there's an N. There's words. Uh, yeah, I usually end up playing him. Didn't play Raid today, I usually play Raid. So it was, it was cool playing people I don't usually play. Even though the same crowd is usually here today as we usually are. Yeah, I mean, this one's a pretty different crowd. Seeing the Switch of Friday, we got a. GFU is here. A different uh, group of people than normal. Yeah. 
We got a. Uh, I mean, I fire here a lot, but we got a. Uh, yep. Tag gears or Drew here and say hi here today. I should have given you the warning on the oh, no, on the, the camera switch. Hey, everybody. Hello. We're about to start grand finals. It is me, Nate, Flora's favorite commentator, and here, my buddy, my TO extraordinaire friend, Bill. Hello. Hello. Um, Seha versus EQ is going to be a good match, but you know what else is good? Supporting the lives of sick children as they go through their recovery processes. And that is what Gamers on the Edge does. How about that transition, huh? Pretty, pretty awesome. That's right. You at home can help support Gamers on the Edge, a charity organization based around gaming that takes donations in the forms of 1s, 5s, 10s, and 20s to help the lives of sick kids as they go for towards on their path to recovery. Yes, very cool. Money is going to a good cause. And if you don't have money to spend or if you don't want to participate in you know, supporting Goaty in that way, please share this stream with someone else that you know that might appreciate gaming or Melee. And um, you can always subscribe on Twitch, uh, supporting a content creator in the traditional fashion. Of course, at 50 subscribers, they are giving away a gaming chair. That is a over $200 value that could potentially be yours for the low price of $5. That's a win. Um, now, back to the match. Bill, into the match. Into the match. Finals. I see the sheep come out again. I feel like last set, right, so he went to run down. See how went down. And then he picks box in one SD, which, you know, typically is the last thing you want to do versus the lateral. So, I think it was kind of a, uh, I'll bring this back in grand type of deal. He just didn't feel like, he probably didn't want to make the comeback. Yeah, um... But the set was, you know, the... The, the first two games. games. <laughs> the two Mars games were tight. And yeah. they were very interesting. The way... Oh, the way they had moves. On that dash dance. Tried to trip up being collateral, but it's just if you don't. If you collateral with some fault, there's a little tricks and a little movement base that Seha does, then it's gonna be hard for Seha to pick the, pick the W up and possibly win the tournament. Yeah. So we'll see how this works out. Uh, that's a great star for, for Seha fans yeah. out there. You start now with a little bit of an SD right now, but oh, oh. is Seha possibly joining him? No, the no. Randall. Yes. The Randall save? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't lose the stock there, but does take a bit oh. of Oh. Loses the stock there. Alright, that's a big day for EQ fans. <laughs> it, after like all of this league and then fixing it, it was like living. After all that. It was like karmic justice. Yeah. A little bit angry, a little bit of... Yeah, he's feeling Zelda. I saw him playing a lot of Zelda when he was, you know, doing friendlies. So maybe he just got Zelda on the brain. But it, I've, I've also heard potentially um, there is like the, the factor of, of, of tilt that comes into play with some players in our region. Say I have hit the pass with one of those players. So it's like perhaps maybe that's kind of his like his venting to, you know, keep his brain right. Do something silly to, to keep yourself from getting frustrated. I know after losing the, the first set, it might be a little bit frustrating going up against that same opponent again, witnessing a lot of that same, uh, those same habits. Yeah, I don't know why he grabbed legs there, but he ended up picking the same stock anyway. It's a light shield on the platform. He goes for something to get it, but it didn't work out now. Now he ended up grab. Say I with the two. 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 And no tipper. Okay, the grab back row wise. And speaking of wisdom, wow, the the decision making right there was, was ideal, but it was not going to be enough to gain get him out of the finish. The um, the say how goes like he was going for a fair, but instead of just going for like a full hop drop down fair. He went all the way up to the top one, and wave landed off it and came down. And I kind of, I feel like that might have just added like a couple of frames to how like the fair, how long the fair takes to come out. I'm trying to say something like that. Not coming through right now. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking the about. The fair, <laughs> he could have done a jump in fair and it would have come out quicker than doing the wave land. Sure. I think the, the mix up, the movement mix up Ooh. is not worth it. Oh like, man, that needle was so cool. Go into this next game. Seha 
Harvest on the battlefield pick. That always the way. Okay, that's, that's a solid start for Seha for the uh, game two of set two. Yeah, I like the way to fix the audio a little bit, but so far, I like the needles. Yeah. I think those are the those are the Nate needles right there. Singularity needles. The problem with this uh, in the match it feels like it's very Sheik needs to throw needles in this matchup. Yeah. Like, what else are you gonna do? A lot of what Say is doing is a lot of like uh. Ooh, the equilateral coming platform out. Platform tricks and movement. Uh, no, the thing is, that Mars is like, he's, he's really good at covering the platforms, and he has he's really good at speeds above him. So yep. You want to play? You want to try to play a little bit more grounded, I feel like. Than That's right. I I agree completely. I love the standing needles that are coming out. Um, he's a good job. And theoretically, Mark really doesn't have an answer if you just kind of stay out of his range and charge a needle, charge a needle, throw a needle, throw a needle. Tipper is going to be enough. I think she could have made that back. Uh, the, the thing is with Zelda that you at least get like better drip. Yeah, and you could go to platforms as well as... Yeah, yeah, I think she, she might have just missed it, or she could have been at struggle there for Zelda. Yeah. He made it back, and he got at least something off of it. He got like 6% or whatever it was. He was going to have to either... Oh, he just... Okay. Yeah. He doesn't have to waste his new ability. He ends up getting the, the fair up. Yes, whenever I play, uh, whenever I do a Zelda recovery, I'm, or when I'm playing online, I make sure I get my fair in, or just to try to win one neutral interaction, because generally that's enough to set up your sheet transformation safely. Yeah, you and get the fair and they go pretty far away, because that's a strong move. Yeah, so and... You going for a read to get that quick kill, but it doesn't work out, and now they have a third advantage. Zelda Marth, horrendous matchup, <laughs> um, but, like, you know, against Spacey's, that's much more, uh, much more effective tactic. Right, throwing them in the air. Get the get the Zerodog down. Zelda to the top. Back in the sheet. That was a that was a good one. Yeah, very effective. But uh, yeah, EQ. Not his first day on, in this game. Knows how to cover a, you know, a sheet recovery. Wow, the, is, was that a tipper even? No. That okay. That's the you know. Perhaps I'm projecting my own psychology onto to Seha, but whenever I'm playing Zelda and out of options, you just start swinging with the forward smash. <laughs> because a lot of times they, people will just run into it. Yeah, they, it is out for a weird amount of time, and it, it's pretty big. Yeah, and it, and it sends you a crazy distance. Yeah, it sends you a really weird but angle, too. Is he going to go for the sheep transform right now? It is pretty punishable, though, if the other person is aware of it. again, Zelda Recovery. Yeah, up tilt's going to do it. I kind of wish he'd... Might win this tournament without dropping a single game. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Comes out. He starts out with a huge bear. Yeah. Now, hey, hey, we get to talk about it. Donkey Kong actually has a good matchup versus Marth. Hey, we said it. We said the thing. Uh, Dr. Mario's Nair gets out stronger the more it's out. Um, nice back here. But hey. That, like, one of those things is relevant, and, um, that was a nice back here, uh, so was that one. But, uh, Donkey Kong does actually have a good matchup, uh, spread versus Mark, or Mark, excuse me. Uh, don't ask me why, I just know that that's the case. Bill, do you have any insight onto that? Uh, he's got a good point, you know, Mark, and a lot of, like, Mark's, like, a lot of Mark's combo games and stuff like that doesn't work the same way as it does in, like, you know, other matchups, but I still think... I don't know if it's, you know, it's definitely not Donkey Kong's favorite, but it's not, it's not his, uh, it's probably the match that a Donkey Kong player is looking to get to make a big run of bracket. Yeah, just give me the marks. Uh, you know, usually you see, um, Like the Roy players just like, give me all the Fox players. Yeah. You know, 
It's not. It's still not great for Roy, but it's you know generally the, the Roy player. Yeah, generally the Roy player is going to be more experienced than the Fox player is. Yeah. DK, I mean, I gotta say, people I don't probably. I mean, he plays the all the time. Probably pretty familiar with this matchup from the Kier. Um, at least he's now. At least he's played it a, a bit. Good DI. Uh, not gonna. Not gonna be able to. Ooh, the wave plan, though. Yeah, and this is like the combo game that DK has, but. And the edge guarding on Marsh. One of the best edge guarders on Marsh. In some situations. Equilateral there, not, not a true one. <laughs> yeah, well, either one of those will happen, <laughs> guaranteed, right? Well, speaking of uh, taking tournaments without dropping a game, Equilateral, uh, this Tuesday, entered and won the first Cat of Quackdown Netplay, uh, West Florida Netplay tournament uh, without losing a single game. This week? Yeah, second one this week. It's just taking zero L's. My third tournament this week, and I haven't done better than this. Yeah, man. I was totally expecting the. Yeah, Yeah. Possible. Doable. So far, a lot of these games have been close to just you just cleaning it up. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's what it's going Well, I'm actually on the edge of my seat here. Yeah, this is... This is tense. This oh, is that should be it. He he's just got to hold. Let no. He just walked up getting to the ledge there, but he hasn't yeah. lost the Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Yeah. What can DK really do to recover here? Like, except for continually go up. It feels like the ice climbers, you know what I mean? Yeah, just try and try and try and until something works out. But... Yeah. Oh, There's man, a sign on Yoshi's. Yeah. EQ, taking it. Zero games lost. Yeah, wow. Second tournament win this week without a dropping a single game. Um, and 16 players in the bracket, that's a hefty amount of Florida Melee Circuit points as well.